Why India is facing accusations of water terrorism by Pakistan? It's because India has built a dam on the Ravi River to stop water from going to Pakistan, a project that took 45 years to finish. First, let's have a look on its background. According to a 1960 Indus Water Treaty supervised by the World Bank, India has the right to use the water from the Ravi River. The Shahpur Kandi Dam in Punjab was delayed because of disagreements between Punjab and Jammu Kashmir letting water that India had rights to flow into Pakistan the Indus water treaty allows India to use the waters of the Ravi Satluj and Bias rivers while Pakistan can use the waters of the Indus Jhelum and Chenab rivers In 1979 the governments of Punjab and Jammu and Kashmir agreed to build the Ranjit Sagar dam and the Shahpur Kandri dam to stop water flowing into Pakistan this agreement was made by Jammu and Kashmir's then chief minister Sheikh Mohammad Abdullah and Punjab's chief minister Prakash Singh Badal Prime Minister Indira Gandhi started the project in 1982 aiming to finish by 1998 the Ranjit Sagar dam was done in 2001 but the shahpur kandi dam was delayed and allowed water to continue flowing into pakistan the shahpur kandi project was declared a national project in 2008 but disagreements between pakistan and jammu and kashmir in 2014 stalled it again in 2018 the central government helped the two states reach an agreement and then the project was completed now the water will irrigate land in jammu and kashmir's katua and samba districts Jammu and Kashmir will also get 20% of the power generated by the dam. Now let's talk about the dam. What are its specifications? The Shahpur Kandi dam, which is 55.5 meters high and located 11 km downstream from the Ranjit Sagar dam, is a part of a bigger project that includes two power plants with a total capacity of 206 megawatt. The dam will benefit Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab and Rajasthan by providing water and power.